So the big question is this, how do investors like us who don't have a PhD in finance or millions to start investing, how do we grow our bank accounts to build real savings and retirements and yet still have the time to do what we really love? That is the question and this podcast will give you the answer. Now a lot of people ask me, John, why do you wake up at 4 a.m. every single day? Like what the heck, dude? That doesn't make sense. Now what I want to share with you today is something that's absolutely changed all aspects of my life and seriously made me like reconsider every single function of what I do is this idea of how many hours productivity do you actually get out of your day? Now I know, you know, there's 24 hours in a day, but if there's only 24 hours in a day, how is it that Bill Gates is worth so much more than Joe Schmo down at the creamery? The real difference is how they use their time. The real difference between those two individuals is how they've optimized their time over years and years and years and years and years to accumulate assets, to build wealth and build success. Everything stems from their individual ability to really maximize the use of their time. So what I wanna share with you today is something that's absolutely changed my life. This idea of getting everything you can out of all you've got. You guys wanna see my book review of that video, and if not, I'll link it below. But it's this idea that like, you can get more out of what you have. So here's the deal. See, most people, they stay up really late at night. And I used to be like this. I would stay up until midnight every night. I would be like just watching TV, watching videos, uh, learning more about stuff I was cared about, maybe doing work. For most people, it's kind of just chilling out, have fun, because a lot of times you get better work done in the morning right after you wake up when you're freshest. I mean, it's literally proven like productivity is at its peak, 9, 10, 11 in the morning. And so here's my question for you. If you wake up before everybody else, would that increase your productivity over everybody else? Would that fundamentally change what you can get done in the morning? Now, if you might be thinking, well, this is kind of aggressive. Why would I wake up at four to do this? Here's a challenge for you. First of all, figure out kind of like how much sleep you want to have, right? And then once you have that number in your mind, figure out, okay, well, when do I want to wake up? That means I need to go to bed at X, Y, Z time, right? Figure out when you need to go to bed. My bedtime is eight o'clock. I get eight hours of sleep. I wake up at four. Maybe that's pretty aggressive for you. Figure out how much sleep you want to have and figure out when you want to wake up. Now take your bedtime and try to stick with it for a week, all right? The biggest thing is establish that like you go to bed at this time, okay? As soon as you can do that, you're gonna change your mood, you're gonna change your demeanor. Within a week, having eight, you know however many hours of sleep that you desire will fundamentally shift everything you do because you're gonna have a ton better rest and relaxation and development and growth of your mind at night. Now, once you're fast with that, just wake up 15 minutes earlier and go to bed 15 minutes earlier. Wake up 30 minutes earlier go to bed 30 minutes earlier. You're not really getting less sleep, you're just shifting time. You're just creating more morning hours to get more productive work done. Now the best way to do this is obviously through a daily journal, through a planner, where you have an hour by hour plan of what you wanna do the next day and how you, when you're gonna wake up, when you're gonna go to sleep, what you're gonna do. Um, this is obviously why I've worked so, so, so much on creating the daily journal, which if you're interested in, there's links below for all these resources and that's a very, very powerful one that's absolutely been game changer for me. But I want you to think about what I'm talking about here and think about how you can apply these principles, okay? I'm waking up earlier. I've seen guys, literally they wake up 15 minutes earlier and they get 10 times more done in that 15 minutes than they would get done in an hour for the rest of the day. Why is that? Because they're at peak state, they're at peak productivity, they're at peak growth. All of a sudden, everything they're doing is 10X. Everything happens faster, everything grows, everything succeeds because they have a connection with themselves at a much deeper level. It sounds crazy, but if you wake up in the morning pumped to get something done, pumped to go hard, pumped to go fast, you get it done a lot, lot, lot quicker. This is the secret. This is really the formula that I use to write nine to noon. I wake up every morning at four and I would do nothing but write for two hours straight. Now it's a little bit crazy. I kind of realized that, hey, maybe you want some protein when you wake up, maybe you want to get pumped. But literally all I would do is write. And, um, and then I get home at night and I would write, and I would, during the school, I'm extra time, I'd write. And I literally produced the, you know, 400 page novel in what, six, seven, eight months um, by using this one strategy. And then on the weekends working like 15 hours a day. Sounds a little bit crazy. Sounds a little bit out there. My question for you is what can you wake up early in the morning? Because the only way you're gonna achieve greatness is to have goals and fulfill those goals. And what I like to think of this morning time, you know, whatever you can do from wake up to work or you know whatever you need to do, maybe it's trading stocks nine to noon, which is freaking sick. Whatever it is you're doing, think about how you can spend maybe 15 minutes, half an hour, one hour, two hours, three hours. Spend that, so Steven Spielberg wrote his first movies in the morning, writing an hour a morning. 
best authors in the world writing an hour in the morning while they were at their old jobs. You look at Jay, uh, what's his name? This will be on this, and then I'll cut over to this for the next part. Um, King, Stephen King. You look at Stephen King, he wrote some of his first novels in the morning before he had to go to his day job. Think about this and think about your goals, think about your aspirations and what you wanna do, and say, well, what if I could just put a concentrated amount of effort in that in the morning, towards it in the morning? What I like to think of the morning as is your goal time as the time that you can use to push, push, push your work towards your overarching goals and go towards the future that you desire. It's your investment in yourself, the time that you put toward yourself. Think about it like this. If you schedule a meeting with your boss or a meeting with a friend for lunch, right? You're gonna go to that meeting. What I'm asking you to do and, and what will change your life is if in the morning you schedule a meeting with yourself and then you stay accountable to it and you keep up with yourself, so that the work you're doing expands and expands and expands. And all of a sudden, once you start to make those meetings with yourself, once you start to stay committed to yourself, everything changes because you're getting more done in a very finite period of time than in a whole day of just like aimless work. So many people, they go to work or they try to do their own work and they just turn on music that's really, really distracting. Or maybe they just aren't focused. They aren't in the zone. What I wanna do is I wanna get you in the zone to get your work done. Look, I love music. It's not against music. I listen to music all the time while I was writing. And it was a really, really, really powerful way to up your energy. And I have a whole video about music. If you want to check that out, just click the link below. How to 10x your energy with music. Very, very, very powerful, powerful concept. But you got to remember that the most important part here, and this is why you need that daily journal, right? Is to chunk out that time, chunk out that block of time. Because if you set a very, very specific goal and give yourself a specific amount of time to do it, you'll get it done. I'll give you guys a great example. We had this one English project we did a couple of months ago and a teacher assigned it two weeks in advance and everyone was like, oh my God, huge project. You had to write a paper, right? Um, and I said, look, I really don't want to give a lot of time into this project because I have a lot of work. I got stuff to do. I got more important things, okay? And I said, look, I'm going to get myself one hour from, I believe it was one to two. It was a little bit later in the afternoon because I have my overarching goals in the morning. I have my priorities in the morning. I had stuff like this where I'm actually creating things that has a massive impact on people. I do that stuff in the morning, do the important things in the morning. It's making a course at the time is actually what was going on. So I said, from one to two, I am going to, and that was like prospecting and trading in the afternoon. I'm going to write this paper. And so I sit down and... Uh, 12.55, I have some water and I say, all right, let's do it. Start at one o'clock sharp. I write and I write and I write and I write and I write for one hour, one hour. And I say, look, there's no option. I am finishing this paper in this hour. I don't care what happens, this is getting done. I wrote the entire freaking thing. It was like 2000 words, um, it was like 1000 words. I write the whole thing in one hour. And I'm done, I'm out. I'm like, look, all right, great. I'm not proofreading it, I'm not going over it. This is my paper, I submit it, I get a 95 in a couple of weeks later. Now this was about a week before it was due. So then I started talking to the people that were in my class and they were like, oh, I've spent the whole night doing it. It was the day before it was due and they hadn't even freaking started. And they were like, oh, I spent four hours planning and planning and planning. Stop planning, start doing. You guys saw my last video, stop learning, start doing. Same content, I'll link it below, okay? You gotta stop, stop procrastinating, all right? When you create your journal, when you create your plan, when you make yourself go to bed at a certain time, you will get your work done by that time. You're at school, you're at work, whatever you're doing. If you have stuff to get done, maybe in the later hours of the day, and you say, well, look, my bedtime is eight o'clock. I need to have my work done by seven so I can brush my teeth, floss, meditate, journal, stuff like that. I need to have my work done by seven. I will get it done by seven. I guarantee if you set yourself a hard deadline like that, I've seen this happen to so many students and they're like, oh, I can't go to bed earlier or I won't be able to finish my homework. For a lot of times that might be true and especially in some of the tougher years. I remember junior year of high school, you know, I was taking some like five, four, I don't know, a bunch of AP classes and then I was running cross country for like three hours a day after school and then track. So for me, it, it was tough. I was going to bed about one or 2 a.m. every single day and then getting up and just, just trying to catch up with the day. I was being reactive instead of proactive. I wasn't creating time, I was reacting to time. And I was getting stuff done, but it wasn't at peak productivity, it wasn't at peak state, because I wasn't in my optimal zone. And until I established a bedtime, I was really, really, really trying to catch up with the clock instead of mastering the clock and creating my own time. 
everything changed the instant I started to schedule what I was doing. Instead of going to bed at two, trying to get work done, I said, look, all the work must be done by eight o'clock. I will find a way to do it. You find a way to do it when you got to go to bed and you're not going to get a grade for an assignment if you don't get it done. I started to find extra time in school. I started to find extra time on the way to school. I started to find extra time in work. It's before I was driving. Um, and everything changed. Everything shifted. Why did everything shift? Everything shifted because I put myself into a tough situation. I put myself in a new set of constraints that said, look, you have to get this done in this time period and make it happen. That's the power of a daily journal. That's the power of getting it done. That's the power of having goals that align you, that create your desire, that move you towards a better future for yourself. It's a very, very powerful, powerful concept. It all stems from your ability to really crush it by taking in planning and then waking up for everyone else. Dude, if you can get more done before half of the world is awake, I'll tell you what, you're gonna freaking crush it. I'll tell you what, I've got one line that I wanna leave you with here, and it's a line from Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, and it's a really, really, really good book. I don't have enough time to go into it today. If you're interested in learning more about how you can freaking like just perform better than 99% of people, I will leave a link below so you can look at uh, my video book review I did on outliers. There was this one line in outliers I read that totally changed my perspective and reinforced this idea of waking up at four every single day. Gladwell says, the man who wakes up 360 days a year before the sun rises never fails to become wealthy. Do you wanna become wealthy? Make extra time to do what will get you there. Make extra time to watch stuff like this, invest in your financial education, read stuff like nine to noon. It'll change your life, it's changed my life. Nothing's the same. My temperament, my personality, so much more calm, so much more in control, so much more consistent. Now that I wake up before every other person I know, and I have all this extra time to reflect, grow, work, and succeed, I'm suddenly so much more confident and relaxed with everything I do. It has fundamentally shifted everything in my personality and my professional life, my personal life. And I know that if you try this out for a month, you'll have the exact same results. So very powerful stuff. Definitely recommend that if you're gonna go 100% on this, you grab a copy of a daily journal, um, link below, and just plan it out so that you know exactly how to get through it. So really cool stuff, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye. Want more stock market secrets? If so, go get your free copy of my best-selling book, 9 to Noon. You can get your free copy plus $11,176 of unannounced bonuses. It took me years to uncover completely for free at 9 to noon Inside 9 to Noon, you'll find the top 38 secrets you can use to double your portfolio every two years and make upwards of 10% per trade daily.